Hello friends, in today's video let us see three different ways to design a star. I am selecting this as my sketching plane. See to it that snap option is switched off. I am going for the construction mode and I am going to sketch a circle. I have clicked see as a shortcut. Now I am going for line option. I do not want it to be in the construction mode. I am going to sketch a star out of these lines. I am going to give equality constraint to all of them. Here I have it. So here I have a perfect star. Now I have to delete this in between lines. So for this I am going to use trim tool. T is the shortcut. As I am not very particular about the dimensions, I am going to leave it undimensioned. So here I have a star. Now I am going to take a parallel plane and on this I am going to sketch a point which is actually projected from the circle of the previous sketch. Now I am going for the loft option. So I am selecting this star sketch and this point. So here you can see I have got this star. Now I can make changes in this dimension. I am making this distance of the offset plane as 20. So here is my star. Let us see another method. Selecting this as my sketching plane and here I am going to draw a triangle and I am going to make it equilateral. I will place it on the origin and I will see to it that it is coincident with this center point of the origin. Here again I am not bothered about the dimensions. See to it that this below line is always less than the above two lines. In this case I have anyway chosen them to be equal. So here I am taking a perpendicular plane and I am going to draw a point. See to it that it lies on that axis and I have again used the loft option for blending this triangle and the point. Now you can see I have got kind of wing of the star. So now I will be using circular pattern. Here I am going to give the quantity as 5. So I have got again a similar star. First sketch a triangle. Then let's create a patch out of this. So I'm going to the patch mode. In fact you can sketch the triangle in the patch mode itself. So here I have created the patch and let's take a perpendicular plane and here again I'm going to draw a triangle. See to it that 
this point that you are going to pick now is less than the previous triangle's point. So here it should be shorter than this. So I'm aligning these two points and going to give straight constraint horizontal and here again I will patch up this triangle. Now I'm going to draw a triangle in the bottom plane so that this joins these two. So I'm projecting these two lines but when we are using patch it might not exactly project properly so it's better to draw but just take these projected points as reference. So here I have this point going to join it to this point and let's draw the remaining two lines. Now again go for the patch. So now there is one more plane that will complete this. So for this I am taking a plane which passes through these two edges. So here I have this. So I will be taking this as my sketching plane and then project those lines. Keep checking if the projection is done properly. So here I have three lines. Now again go to the patch mode and select the newly created triangle. So here I have this complete shape but you know that it's only a patch so I'm going to stitch everything together. So now you can see that I have a body. Now let's go back to the modal module selecting this body and going to mirror it. I'm selecting this as the plane and I have the kind of wing of the star. So using the same method as in done the second way, I'm using the circular pattern and I'll be using this axis I'm giving it as 5. So here I have got a similar star. So the previous two methods are much easier than this but you can use this patch method for doing more complicated faces.